Yeah, big up Hibbits. Mail day. Excited about this one here. We're gonna get this thing to the crib and we're gonna see what it do. What up YouTube? It's your boy All About The Sneakers back with another video for you guys. It's been a couple of weeks or so. I've been MIA, so I am glad to be back in touch and back on the channel with you guys. Have an exciting little review I'm gonna do today on a sneaker pickup. It is mail day, so I just picked that package up. We're gonna go ahead and jump right into it, get home and open this thing right up. Y'all stay tuned. And if you haven't already, go ahead, hit the like, subscribe and share button and make sure you hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on future release videos. Y'all stay tuned, let's get it. What up YouTube? It is your boy All About The Sneakers back with another unboxing video. I took a little break away from you guys for a couple of weeks or so, but I am back with an unboxing that I said I would be picking up. Today we're gonna unbox one of my favorite silhouettes of Jordan brand, Jordan Signature Shoe, which is the Retro 4. I told you guys I would be picking up the Black Cat pair, so that is what we will be unboxing today. I did not wanna miss out on that. Before we get started, I want you guys to go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe button, and share button, and hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date on future release videos. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so I have the package here. Uh, you, as you can see, it came in from Hibbit Sports, and I went ahead and ordered this. I haven't been doing a lot of online ordering, but I did go ahead and order this online because Hibbit happened to be in stock with these weeks after the initial release. And uh, there's been a few other shoe retailers that have been keeping these in stock or restocking on these, should I say. Foot Locker, I've seen the Finish Line restock, and I want to say Hibbit restock too because day one they were all out. So I did go ahead and pick this up from Hibbit online. Thanks Hibbit Sports for the package. I do appreciate it. And uh, let's go ahead and get right into this. All right, so as you know, I have the handy dandy box cutter here in hand. We're just going to go ahead and do this true unboxing because, um, as you can see, this package is still taped up. All right, a little snip there. And another snip there. We'll just go over the top. And I always want to do this the most efficient way without getting cut. You would think by now I'd be like a box opening specialist, but no, it's not the case because I really don't do a lot of online ordering. I'm trying to get more into that. I'm just so impatient. Like, I just want to get the damn shoe. Just give me the shoe. All right. So, got the box open here. And we're going to pull the shoe box out. And I am actually shocked because there wasn't any padding in this uh, shipping box. And the box is not really beat up. It's in pretty good condition. I mean, there are some little corners, you know, little edges on the box where it's probably been bumping around. But for the most part, this looks better than some of the shoes that I picked up in store. Box is just super duper beat up on a new pair of shoes. I'm like, how? Anyways. Okay, so as you can see, we have the Air Jordan 4 Retro Black Cat LT Graphite. And that is a little hard to read. This camera is not being my friend today. Uh, and I do have the personal size 10. And you can see these retail at $190. So $190 retail. Uh, and that is what your sticker should look like with an authentic pair. I'm not going to go too in depth with this because, as you know, there are a ton of videos out there on YouTube about these shoes pre-released and, and all of that. So I'm not going to go in depth with it. But you do have the little hole here on the box that the standard Jordan 4 box comes in. And you get the black Jumpman here on top which is shiny and the box is blacked out. So it is a unique box. It also has like the uh, little cement speckles or whatever that you would see on some of the Jordan silhouettes or mainly the four. But anyways, we got the lid off. Got the black uh, shiny paper here. All right, all right, all right. Let's go on ahead and pull these out. All right, and 
bam, there you have it. The Air Jordan 4 Retro Black Cat. And I already did a vlog on these, walked through the mall, picked them up, looked at them. So it's not really much to go in depth about. It's just a black out Jordan 4, black jump man in the back. On the front, you do have the graphite gray uh, logo on the tongue that says flight with the jump man. And on the bottom, you do get the white jump man. I think these would have been pretty dope if they would have just went retro style and put Nike Air in the back. But I am not mad at that shiny jump man in the back. I can definitely deal with that one thing that i did want to see on these shoes would be maybe a black more plastic like the jordan 4 on this versus the new buck but this is how the original was so i don't expect any change ups i just think it would be dope in my opinion to see that do get the little shiny kind of black paint here on the midsole uh, that's pretty nice also here on the front of the midsole and then you get the shiny little eyelets or wings or whatever those are called uh, just shiny plastic but other than that man not much to go over the shoe we just have the blacked out version of the jordan 4 black cat these are really popular they did just drop the jordan 34 a black a blacked out version with that has some hits of lime green on the sole and i've seen some of the retailers like Foot Locker dubbing those as the black cat 34s uh, i didn't see nike say that so i'm um, not gonna go too into that but if you guys seen those shoes, let me know what you think about those. Also, let me know what you think about this Black Cat 4 here. Uh, if you guys were able to pick these up or if you want to pick up a pair, uh, you might want to check online and just see if there's any more restocks. I got continuous restocks week after week on these and it just kept popping up in the notifications. I had to make sure that I wasn't looking at something old. So uh, retailers did continue to restock these. But once again, there it is not going to do any on feats probably won't do many on feats on these channels just because i keep a lot of my shoes ds um so yeah they don't even go on the feet straight like that oh let's do the insole there if you guys can see the little graphite gray jump man i think or maybe it's a shiny black let me look at that in person yep looks like graphite gray and it also has the shoe size men's 10 and then a uh, shoe tree, cardboard shoe tree, and the uh, sizing on the side. Anyways, also, back of the tongue, sorry. Uh, got Air Jordan there upside down. That's really, really tough to see. But it looks like it is also the graphite gray color. Black Cat 4, Jordan Retro 4, Black Cat, whatever you want to call it. However you want to order that. Um, anyways. Go ahead and hit the like, subscribe, and share button if you didn't already. Make sure you hit the notification bell to stay updated on future videos. And I will be doing some more here soon. I'll probably be getting the, um, let's see, the Westbrook 0.3 Heartbeats, which is like a Valentine's Day colorway of the shoe. If I can find those, I will pick those up and do a review on those. Other than that, that is all I have for you guys today. Just keeping this short and simple. Once again, it is your boy, All About the Sneakers, and I will catch you guys on the next episode. Salute. I'm out.